So there is five chakra, which one is the secret chakra, which we we don't talk, uh, teach in in uh, what do you call in um, in in the six yoga of Naropa. So there are head chakra, no chakra means the all the subtle body meeting point of view point and throat chakra, and then what is that? Heart, Heart chakra, chakra, and then mm. navel chakra. Navel. So the here navel chakra, so where where the whole foundation of all the other channels, all the 72 ch channels, and everything we are working on this place. So now I will just slightly touch this form. The six yoga is working on a four state of mind. So there are four state of mind. The one is the state of awakening, which we call daytime. You know? Since this morning you open your eye, we are state of awakening until after one hour or two hours when you go to bed, close your eyes, five senses will slowly dissolve and all the wind will be going into heart chakra and that is what we call the Dalta state of sleep, you are in the deep sleep. From there, if you start to dream, so then the wind will start to go into head or throat or lower. If the wind go to the lowest chakra, then in the dream people are experiencing this all sexual activities and all other things. And if you are too much eating in the dream, finding a restaurant, you are in a, the wind is somewhere in the navel chakra and around that chakra. So in the dream, if you are flying, if you are having a really good time, you are climbing the mountain or you are top of the mountain, or you are in heaven or you are in a pure land, you can think the wind is somewhere in the hair chakra. Mm -hmm. So these all things are happening in the dream from the color chakra point of view. But the point here, what I'm trying to say, so there are the four state of mind. One is the state of awake, one is the state of dream. So the dream, so see as I said, there's a state of awake, you know, where the five senses are start to working. We are in a more in a conscious state of mind. And then when you go to bed, when you go to sleep, so you are entering into the unconscious world. The conscious is closed, five senses are closing. And then when you enter into unconscious world, so this is the uh, state of deep sleep. Now when you are in the deep sleep, what happening for inner wind, so you have all the winds are actually concentrating mostly in the heart chakra. Do you understand? So from there, so after that, if you start to kind of, you start to dream it, then what is really happening, what we call the state of dream. So even if you look at from the, like a, like a brain, the neuroscience, the point of view, so when you go from, when you close your eyes, you're entering from beta to alpha state of brain, brain. And then you close and you sleep, you're entering into what? What? Theta. And then, when you're in a deep, deep sleep, you're entering into the delta state of mind or the brain wave. And, and somehow, do you understand? Within, from the delta, then you are, while your whole body is sleeping, and your brain wave is entering to the beta again up. That means what is happening? You are dreaming. That's a REM sleep. Mm. Have you heard about that? The rapid eye moment, so that you start to dreaming. So, there, here it says, that's the dream state of mind, within the sleep. So the fourth one, the moment of death, the intermediate state of mind, which is after, as soon as we stop our breath, life force will be collapsed, our life consciousness will become out from here, or here, or here, or here, or somewhere from down there. If you come out from the down there, the consequences, co what? consequences will be not really pleasant. Mm -hmm. so, so that's why people try to do poor in order to the final allied consciousness can be go from here. So that's why the poor is all about cleansing this, this path. Then try to put this, what is this? Mm -hmm. huh? Straw. Straw. That, so there are many other things that are going on. I will, I will explain in, in some other times. But there are only four states. One is state of pardo, one is state of deep sleep, one is state of dream, one is state of awake, so-called awake. 
So now the sixth yoga is working on this four direction. So here, what I wanted to say here, I think I have some of it, just wanted to finish it. So in the sixth yoga, there are four major yoga and then two minor yoga. The four major yoga is yoga of Tumu, the yoga of uh, what do you call that? Yeah, I mean, the yoga of uh, clay light, the yoga of illusory body, and yoga of what? Poma. Huh? Poma. Poma. Dream. Huh? Dream. 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 And what else left? Dream. Huh? So, dream of Tumo, dream, and clay light, and then the illusory body. So this, this illusory body, tumu, dream, and clear light, these four are in the sixth yoga of Yoga. Ah, here you go, that's a good one. So the, the inner heat, illusory body, clear light, and... Wait, oh, there's something else. Is dream yoga. Oh, yeah, dream yoga. This one, two, three, four are the what we call the major four yoga in six yoga, and then the minor, poa, and path. Why is that? Why there is again major and minor in the sixth yoga mind? Here is important. So there is a fourth state of mind, the awakened state, dream state, deep sleep state, and then the pardo state. So now the dream, the tumu is working, tumu is kind of breaking of awakening state of mind. Then through tumu we can break this daytime, awaken illusion. Put it that way. Awaken illusory, we can break only if we practice tumu. Number one. The second one, in the dream, there's a whole illusion is going on. So only through the dream yoga you can cut the illusion of dream state of mind. Second. Now the third one, the clear light, the deep sleep. The deep sleep state of mind, the only the clear light practice can clear light yoga can break the illusory in a deep sleep. In a, what we experience in normally in deep sleep, nothing. No? Nothing. But that's not true. There are many things happening. But we are completely unconscious. What a pity. <laughs> so now the fourth body. Fourth, no, I said something else. The fourth state of, ah, yeah. So, so there is the, sorry, this, when I say it's the state of Bardo, so here, in, in here, the, in the six yoga of Narupa, you call it um, uh, Nyomjuk. So Nyomjuk is not, here yeah, when I say the, the state of Bardo, here I'm saying, the state of Nyomju is like when you enter into meditation. Do you understand? So that, that was, uh, that was uh, the state of Pardo is just take, take it away. So here, uh, because there's two, two, two different uh, topics. So here's the, the fourth state is Nyomju state. When you enter into any meditation, do you understand? And until you finish that meditation, any meditation, either it is Shile, either it is visualization, any meditation you enter, and then until it is finishing, so this is what we call the Nyomjuk, uh, what do you call this? Nyomjuk is Samadhi state? No, Samadhi is something different. What do you call this meditation state? Building phase? Huh? Building phase? No, not building phase. Uh, the bardo of meditation. Yeah, some, something you call bardo of meditation actually. So enter into any meditation and finishing, this, here we call it Nyomjuk. So in that meditation, sometimes people, for example, the Gampopa, the first time when he met Minarepa. So the Gampopa at that time he had a little bit because he was a scholar, you understand, he was a, he had this what do you call what do you call he had little scholar in the sense he was a, from the Kadampa and he was a, he had this meditation high state. So in he can stay in a one point, one mind for thirteen days, without moving, without eating, without drinking, without toilet, he can stay in thirteen days. 
So when he come to Milarepa and he said like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm good. <laughs> Daniel said, I'm ready. <laughs> and so because Milarepa asked and then he was just proudly, I have this kind of highest, you know, realization. 13 days I can just, without moving, I can stay in one point. And then this is what I'm saying here. From starting from first day to until 13 days, this whole period, and Milarepa said, this your your realization or your state of mind only can enter to higher realm. Do you understand? There is this in the God realm. There is what you call so come so may come. What you call body formless form. Yeah. Formless. Have you heard about this in the six realm? There's a God in the God realm. There is a form realm and formless realm. And the Milarepa said this kind of meditation you can only can go to where form and formless state of real. <laughs> some, some already started to enter into this like a Dalta state of mind. <laughs> no, just kidding. So Milanipa said only this, you know, so now you if you practice this, Sing Yoga Narupa, then you can go beyond. So this is what I'm saying. So the throne the Juni practice, illusory body, the illusory body can what? Practice. Do you understand? Break that kind of samadhi. Do you understand this, this kind of one-pointed or entering into different dimension or just any kind of meditation? So these are the four state of mind which is working with the tumu, dream and clear light and then the julu. So there is a, there is a whole uh, very powerful uh, saying in the Vajrayana so if you read, for example, from the four, four chakra point of view, because it's most important in six yoga. So in the six yoga, what we said, if you can manage to open the navel chakra, like a completely unblocked, you are in the first bhumi. Do you understand this, man? You are in the first bhumi state of mind. So if you can open the heart chakra, unblock it completely, you are in the seventh state of bodhisattva, the bhumi state of state of consciousness, state of mind. So you open the throat chakra, you are in the tenth bhumi. So you all start you manage to open the hair chakra. So you are in, in the Vajrayana we call it thirteen state of which is Vajradhara state of mind. Do you know who is Vajradhara? Mm -hmm. huh? The Dorji Chang state of mind. So there's a whole uh, other things which I for example um, um, so here he said it's beautiful here from the six yoga of Narupa. Tumu juli ni nimukum, malam versal ni semukum, pardo poa ni chikaikum. So six yoga of practice. Here he says, Tumu an illusory body, you practice in a daytime. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And dream yoga and clear light you practice in the night time. Bardu and Poa you practice in state of death. Near death, after death. In the, when you are going, most of the practitioners, they can, if you are really connected with it, your channel and your body, you can even like, even some practice now, like three months ago, one year ago, they start to sense the life force is collapsing. Life force is, do you understand? <coughs> sometimes months ago, sometimes weeks ago, you will start to feel you are living. And then you have to, many great masters, they just stay in the meditation state for weeks. And even though after that, they stay in this tukdam for a few weeks. So this is what it says. So, so now why it is major, the four R, because this is we practicing in this life. Do you understand what I mean? And then the Pardo and Poa is in a almost looks like in a future. And especially this four major is working with a four state of mind directly. And here the important part is that for example in the Tumu practice what we are doing so now, now we are coming to the, the conclusion so in the Tumu practice so in the forefinger below the navel, which is there, the forefinger below the forefinger below the navel, we are visualizing small shape of R in Tibetan word. 
So our world is almost like, a, like almost looks like this. Do you understand? Huh? Is there, you can see the yeah. Yeah. Next Small sign here. Oh, exactly. You see that? Okay. Yeah. So the on the forefinger below the navel, where the right channel and left channel and the central channel is meeting point. This is exactly four finger below the navel. So tumu is tum the what do you call that here? Pena. Um Lumsim Ala Nebegi Tewa Tuchu Revsi Tumu Se So what is saying here? The Tumu is as I said, there's a whole foundation of that whole seventy two thousand channels. And the whole three poisons, you understand? It's a junction point in this three, four finger below the navel. So what we are doing, there's Achum, and we start to, in a, I mean, I, I can't, I don't want to go into the practice part because that, that you have to explore in the future. I'm just trying to introduce here. So what we are doing, so visualizing in the beginning, the R, and R is in the red, you understand, R always in the red, in the golden color, and then from here, it start to little bit vibrating, it start to heating, it start to small fire, the two fingers. Fire is starting. And that fire is start to burning all three poisons. Do you understand what I mean? The outer and inner, the each and every breath you are taking, it is burning it and then transforming into the center channel. Mostly what really happened, each and every breath you inhale, it go to the right channel, left channel, and lower chakra, the lower center channel, and which is put in distributing or, or, or supporting to the three poisons. And very, like I just see in one day, 24 hour, uh, what do you call the 21,600 breath, so there are almost two percent wind is only going into the center channel, transforming into the wisdom wind. What is the difference between Milarepa and I? There's no difference. No. Just kidding. So, what is the difference between Milarepa and us? So, Milarepa, each and every breath, he can transform into 21,600 breath he is taking, is all going into center channel. Are you understanding now slowly? And that's why there's no three poison. That's why there's need no dualistic state of mind. While his outside looks like ex absolutely the same, I mean here, Milarepa is the great, great, um, great Mahasiddha, great practitioner. Because some of here, maybe one or two are completely new. So, so why is that? Tennyson, for us, as I said, only two person is going into center channel but all the 98% of the wind is supporting all three poisons. So the, is the, through the tumor what you can do is that you can burn, that you can transform all this, all this, um, all this uh, three poison wind, and then that's all like a, I'm sure all of you know about the alchemist, how they are working the, the, the mercury into the gold through the fire. You know, that, that's the whole mystery behind it. I don't want you to go there. What do you want to say? I was wondering, does that mean the more heat I feel, the more poisons I burn? Exactly. And that, that's an interesting thing. That's, that, 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 that's very interesting. Other things, I don't want to go there. So, this is what we call the tumu. And then in the tumu, you, you visualize everything here. Four petals, seed, and all the here. Because the tu um here is a lungsem. The wind and the tumus wind in Bindu are staying in this four finger below the navel, where there's 64 channels. And then the dream. When you do the dream, so in the dream state of mind, for example, in the dream state of mind, especially here, Sepineka, when we are in the, in the awakened state of mind, do you understand? Do you know where the, the most of the uh, this wind and lungsem means all the wind? is concentrating in navel chakra, in the awakening state. In the dream state, the, all the wind and mind is concentrating in a throat chakra. In the deep sleep, in the deep sleep, 
our mind in wind because here I, we also have some uh, the, the REPA program the first year and second year because they never heard this so I'm just trying to also to cover for everyone so the in the dream state of mind the wind and the consciousness is more concentrated here so that's why we practice in the dream yoga we practice all the syllable and everything here the, all the four petals and everything working here in the deep sleep the wind going to the heart chakra and in the deep clear light we mostly practice here in heart do you understand visualizing here the petals visualizing the home and try to you know radiate everything coming back so it's happening here because in the deep sleep in the deep sleep so called the delta state of wind so the wind in do you understand the channel is more focused here in the meditation state the wind is too much concentrated in what? In the forehead, the forehead chakra. So that's why the jury, the illusory body, as soon as you enter into illusory practice, illusory practice is always visualizing the, the petal and everything here. So as soon as any practice that if you practice, if some your your master, your teacher, your guru asks you to visualize here, that means they are working with your what? Huh? Head chakra, which is illusory body practice, which is which is which is try to break this samadhi. Do you understand that state of mind? So if your your master, your guru is visual, asks you to visualize here, that means you are working with your dream state of mind. If your guru master is who asks you to visualize something in the heart, that means. You are walking with a deep sleep of state of mind. If you are visualizing somewhere four finger below the navel, you are walking with what? The waking state of mind. So Tomo is walking here, practicing everything here. Visualize everything. Mantra, syllable, petals, flowers, everything. Deities are here. And then you practice the clear light petal, yidam, everything is in the heart chakra because the wind is concentrated in here in the it's deep state of mind. See? And then in the dream, the most of the wind is concentrating here. So that's why in the dream yoga, all you visualize petal, mantra, everything here. So in the, what is this here? In a, you know, in if you are too much lost into this duration, Visualization, meditation, samadhi, you know, sometimes people say, oh, I am in the highest state of mind, I am one with this and that, that, that means they are going a little bit beyond the samadhi, <laughs> so they have, to, they, have to, they have to more focus here and try to break it. Did you understand what I mean? So, if you are having some, like a dream and all this, uh, do you understand all this uh, nightmare and you are going through a problem, so visualize your idam here. I understand that. So these are the four places, and this is why, why we call the major four, six, or four yoga of, of Naropa, and that is four states. The more the winds are concentrating in that that state of mind, so almost we are seems almost done. So I was yeah, that's the whole poem and all this. If I done all this, I wanted to yeah. To, the green ball and coming up and all this happening in 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 a, in a walking in a heart chakra and that's a that's a whole power is walking from here to all this shi 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 five ten and the whole 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 pack by pack so because <laughs> the, 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 the part of the dying process is state in the dream in, in the part of yoga so there is this state of uh, near what you call part of dying part of um, dharmata and part of becoming. And especially in that process, if you are really good at practicing clear light, if you didn't liberate in this body lifetime, but you will definitely liberate in the state of first part, the part of dharmata. It is it part of dharma, sorry, part of part of dying, we call it, chikai part of. Part of dying is the, exactly the same state in a deep sleep. The way we are 
five senses are closing, five elements are dissolving, and all the energies start to concentrating in the heart chakra. Absolutely the same part of dying is this powerful. All the five senses start to collapsing, five energy, five elements will collapse, and then the life force will be bang in the heart chakra. But unfortunately, the dying force is bang and unconscious come out. But sleeping is not coming out. Do you understand? From there, either you stay for a longer time, then all the, the wind will be start flowing. When the wind starts to flowing, the dream starts. When the wind stays longer, the dream will be shorter. The wind will be more, the dream will be longer. So if you really manage to do the dream yoga in this lifetime, really, if you try to, and in the, the, the second part, the part of Dharmata, especially after three point half day, after the stopping our breath, we enter into the path of Dharmata where we will, we will experience hundreds of deities which is peaceful and rough food where all are coming. So in that state, the part of the dream and the part of the Dharmata is exactly the same. Once you realize in the dream you are dreaming, because the problem in the part of Dharmata is that people don't know I'm in a part of And that's why they are running, they are, all problems are coming, do you understand? So that's why there, if you manage to do the part of it, you will be liberated. And then the third one, the last one, today the last one, the part of, what is that? Part of, if you manage to do what? Huh? Illusory body, you know, then you will be enlightened in this part of becoming. There is a Dharmakaya first, Sambhogakaya, and Nirmanakaya. So these are the six yoga of Narupa, and which is very precious, in which I just try to kind of cover everything. And I don't know how much you really understood and how much uh, you felt the value and the preciousness. So today is just a starting point, and if I inspire enough, so in the future just try to try to try to find those knowledge. Do you understand? What I mean? Try to explore. And that's very. I mean, what I try to share with you, even that I don't know, even less than the one person of that whole knowledge. I mean, I'm not really managed to, but I try. Some of you, I just wanted to inspire you. Genesis to try to show you that glimpse and there are really beautiful possibilities. And you have to go there, you have to search, you have to Dennis hunger for that and you, you will get those knowledge. And there are possibilities. Once you are in diving into that world, the time is coming. Do you understand? And you, you have to you have to some of you have to go beyond. Let's dedicate the merit together. Sunam de Pamje Sipani, Pogne Nibeta, Pamje, Tegrana Chipa, Tupai, Sipe, Tule, Doa, Doa, Show. Can you say in English? By this merit, may all beings attain enlightenment. May they defect the enemy of wrongdoing. From the stormy waves of birth, old age, sickness, and death. From the ocean of samsara, may I free all beings.